in the land of gorilla folks how y'all doing yeah today we're trying pecan shells these are processed pecan shells from our friends at smoking pecan and uh we're doing using these in the auto Kamado today and i've got some skinless frost skinless frost yeah they're going to take on the smoke really nice we just got it fired up we're going to get those skinless frost on it we'll take a look at them and uh 225 and uh we'll give you a look see as we proceed yeah skinless frost smoked with pecan shells who the thunk hey well say with me folks Tiefen taller. <laughs> it's from Iowa and they're skinless brats. And this is, uh, I just love these things. And every time I get into Iowa, get into the, one of the high V's or the fairway uh, in the northern part of the state, uh, I always go out of my way to get myself some Tiefen tallers and bring them home because they are uh, one of my favorite brats around. And uh, we're going to get these on. And uh, we're just about up to temp 225. Give you a look see. And we got smoke already pouring out of those. Uh, Pecan shells, yeah. The, the people who make tea for are saying, you're doing this with what? Yeah, that's right, pecan shells. All right, folks, we're set at 225. PID controller on, on the, the Char Gorilla Otto Kamado does a fine, uh, uh, just a fantastic job. I'll leave the link down below to the review I did. This thing is, it really is amazing. If you're thinking about getting into, into Kamados and you're looking at that green one or the red ones, they're really expensive. Double wall construction, insulated. It's already got a thermostatically controlled blower built right into it, PID controller, and it dials itself in very, very, very nicely, folks. There, there is no reason to spend the big money on something that's super heavy, super bulky, that's going to, if you tipped over, would break when you can have something that's going to be as reliable as the Auto Commodore from Char Griller, folks. Let's take a look. Just put them on. Oh man, look at that. Starting to sweat a little bit. Now you're wondering why they're so shiny. So skinless brats, you always cook frozen. So you put them on frozen and then they firm up during the cooking pro pro process. And we're gonna put that back down and give you a look-see. And uh, they're gonna be delicious. Let's keep on going here. So like all Kamados, they do like a lump. And I, on this one, uh, I'm using uh, b and B, and this is the hickory lump. This stuff is really good. All right, by about 20 minutes into it, let's uh, take a look. See, oh man, looking good, looking good. I'm just gonna turn them. Got some good smoke into them. Keep on going give you a look-see. All right, turn the auto come out up to 325. She's working her way up there. Still, look at all the nice smoke at 325. Very nice by the auto come out. Give her a turn here. These are looking really good. Oh man. Yep, that's what I'm looking for right there. See that darkness? Keep on going here. Uh, one more look see and we'll be almost done <laughs> oh man we are ready to eat and uh no onions but just this secret salmon sauce i just found this today i i've had it before i was running out and uh, i told a whole bunch of people everybody was asking tom what's going on with the secret salmon sauce folks if you haven't had this phenomenal uh kroger which is pick and save by me is um uh, who's got it, but I think others have it too. Let's take a taste test, shall we? Oh man. If we get to Iowa, check them out, Tiffin Tollers. Phenomenal. <laughs> and the uh, secret saving sauce, I guess onions would have been good on there too, but still excellent the way they are. I love these the day after. Tom Horseman, YouTube. Thumbs up, leave a comment, and as always, Thanks for watching.